Hey, how you doing? Boppy B here again with you, bringing you a few words over the festive season as we try and navigate our way as collectives, as groups, as communities coming together. And how do you do that? How do you navigate the, those environments where it might be really, really busy, really full, really um, chaotic? You're trying to navigate those conversations that come up as a group. What I found is that I've been doing a, um, just reflecting on a weekend I've had where there was lots of family around, extended family and um, people who I haven't met before. And you come into these situations and you find that there are people who have different opinions to you and you're wondering can you be yourself or can, do you have to share something with somebody else that's going to come back on you in a way that doesn't make sense, in a way that might end up being a little bit toxic, in a way that might conflict with your beliefs and how do you respond to that? So I'm just doing them, um, so I just wanted to share what, how I handle it and how I look at things and I hope that you too might be able to glean some inspiration or even suggest something that's different to the way I think. So when you're in those situations, your family gathering, festive season, anything could be happening. And you know, you could be you could be watching TV, you could be um, talking about a character in a book, and then all of a sudden, you know, suddenly it's like, right, okay, then this has suddenly got political, or now we're talking about the economics of the situation, or now we're even going to be looking at how this is not your particular lived reality or belief and can that rhyme with you and can this person really be part of my clan do I really belong so I was just um got some ideas and tips I wanted to share with you I don't even know if they're tips I just think they're suggestions because when you are feeling in this season that you want to be with a group of people or even when you're on I'm not even say when you're on your own but let's go for when you are in a group environment where you come together as a family family in inverted commas um, in the biblical sense and in the secular Virtual reality family. sense let's let's be real we have all different types of families now and we have got a space where we can be with a group of people and say right okay then remember that in all types of family even your closest closest person that you think that you know your closest buddy the person who your bosom friend your life partner Remember that there are all types of friend friend and even though your bosom buddy you are going to have things that are different in your way of thinking. You're not going to all um, um, believe in the same thing, you're not all definitely sing from the same hymn sheet but what you do have are themes and behaviours and a history that brings you together and makes you feel part of that clan. So it's like okay then cool, this is my, this is my people then and there's a generic thing that brings you together whether it's blood in terms of a or a name a family name or a group or a, or a particular uh, liking for certain things but it doesn't miss, doesn't mean that person when you disagree with them that they're not your friend friend or your tribe or your clan so just remember remember that's number one number two I think it's about the story that we hear as well what story do you want to tell what story are you hearing? How do you perceive that story? And when you are telling your own reality, telling your own stories, there are places where, in that story, where your story will intersect, intertwine, layer, and match somebody else's story. If I'm standing next to you right now, the color of the sky that I'm looking at, you're not gonna necessarily agree that that's what you're seeing. You may decide as somebody, um, some, somebody else, somebody, who has um, maybe the same affinity, the same things that might align with me, you may still decide that the sky is the brightest blue today and there are no clouds and etc in the sky. You may decide that the sky is green, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I need to disagree with you to the point of breaking up that person's or breaking up my own um, sense of friendship or kinship with that person or messing up that person's reality or taking what they say as being um, so opposite that you cannot get on with them in other spheres. I think I look at it as... Oh,
the okra soup of life where you slice the okra you know the one the lady's fingers you slice the okra you put ingredients into the okra soup so I'm, I'll be coming from the perspective of my own kind of like Nigerian cooking or rather my Anglo Nigerian cooking because if I'm gonna do traditional there are things in that soup that would not exist because I've changed the way that the soup um, is made using the ingredients that I have available and also my own kind of beliefs and talking about accessibility as well so it's like okay what am I doing here and for me it's about right okay then I want to share a different sense of how I how I evolve and put things into the soup so yes traditionally there'll be palm oil crayfish maybe some stockfish as well to give it some nice flavor and then you'd also cook up some you might put some red meat in there lamb beef etc boil that up put that in there some people would also put fish in there so you might put some you might be mackerel tilapia and snapper whatever kind of fish takes your fancy and something that maybe doesn't um, break so easily as a, as a fish so you might not necessarily put salmon in there but hey you might want to try it and say let's try put salmon in your, in your Anglo-Nigerian um, uh, okra soup then you would want to take uh, some of the okra and to that you might just just use the okra on its own you might add some other vegetables you might put spinach with that make it really extra high in antioxidants and vitamin c for yourself and really look after yourself you may say right i'll put some ugu in there as well so how you see your okra soup is about being able to cook up your own storm but also being able to accept that there are other flavors and recipes that exist that have been adapted over time and that you can adapt for yourself so in terms of being able to take that family circle it's the same thing how do you take that family circle have that group that community what are you saying to them and how are you hearing them what is the perceptions that follow for you and make things true for you let's look at the festive spirits yes how does imbibing yourself with alcohol change your behavior how does uh, smoking or intoxicating yourself in different ways how does that change your behavior and does that make you more excited does it make you more subdued does it make you more agitated more angry know who you are know exactly how you behave when these things happen for some people who are part of that group where you're talking about maybe politics or economics or how um, uh, you know the price of rice might have changed and or how this particular okra soup recipe should stay the traditional recipe and it would be sacrilege to change it when somebody has intoxicated their body you want to know that in that situation how do we find different ways of diffusing the situation or changing the subject or even um, removing yourself from stopping yourself from being completely intoxicated or reducing the amount of um, intoxicants that are available for people to have at that family gathering and that community space as well because you know through psychology through human behavior that that is exactly what happens when you do take um, when you do intoxicate yourself so it's about knowing yourself knowing what happens and how you make that work for yourself and I think I'll just when I go back let me go back to the okra as well I wrote Dream Drops and Doodles on Okra because there are different life situations in that book and there are different spaces in that book for you to be able to fill it in, colour it in and talk about how you, how women go through um, miscarriage in terms of an unborn child or a child that is born into this world and is not living and, and the pain of carrying that, that, that in that particular situation. How about how men go through um, depression and how that exacerbates itself or how that manifests itself in reality and they're looking um, at their lives or even how they, they are in situations, maybe in terms of being a father as well and looking at um, depression or their um, behaviour as well. I also have included tales of social media and how we respond to stories on social media and I've got stories in there about your big child, you, and how you can connect with your inner child in different ways. I've got little haikus in there, and there's illustrations by Amanda Williams in there for you to colour in. Little doodles, little illustrations for you to colour in, in between the poems. So for me, it's about being able to recognise that you are 
an amazing human being that you can be yourself in these situations and environment as well and that is something that you're saying to yourself right this I can do this I can do this situation I can be in this family space I can be in this community space and I am I am able to contribute to that space but I'm also in control and nobody's gonna make me feel like I cannot be here I cannot contribute and if there are issues or problems then maybe find my book find my book you can get them in some bookshops around the country and in independent bookshops and also you'll be able to find it on my website links are in my bio on this page and just enjoy yourself be you don't be thinking that the festive season is all about one thing it is about you reflecting and having time for yourself and recognizing that we are all part of um, a massive massive big sea of uh, of joy and you contribute to that sea of joy in a way that makes it's a rich soup. That sea of joy is a rich soup in that okra that you have and you join and you add to it. Yeah, make it work for you, definitely. Dream drops and doodles on okra.